What's going on guys? Vic V back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, yes, say hello to an old friend. The Candy Crane House came back for a second repair. Wait until you hear the backstory on this one. Oh, my prize is stuck. <laughs> Let's take a look. You guys want to join if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything, all the behind the scenes, all the little shorts, the clips, and the stuff that I'm doing. Illinois VPIN almost done. We're getting ready for our artwork. PC installed. I'm basically just doing some final touches slash computer setting up and all that. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Wait until you hear the story on this one. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think what happened to this machine was my fault or if it was customer negligence. I am having a great time honestly doing these five minute credit videos so it's, it's pretty fun. It's kind of a whole different take. I talk differently on it, kind of hitting you quickly with factual stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun and uh, I'm hoping that you're enjoying it. What's crazy is that right now I'm filming it. I filmed like four of them or this is the fourth one. They haven't officially gone out yet because again, I post once a week, that's my schedule. So I'm just anxious to still hear about your take on my five minute credit videos. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I just filmed this one. That's usually what I do. I film the five minute credit and then I talk to the camera because basically if I was able to get it knocked down in five minutes, I could just kind of summarize it as I go along. Just little background story but yes wait until you hear the story on this one an old friend the candy crane house claw machine oh man these claws it's kind of crazy i posted a short showing the fixed this was this was fixed and I, no joke it hit like five thousand views on a short which is still mind-blowing to me uh people like their claws but claw machines do get pretty pricey. I do have this one up for sale. I'm helping the customer sell this as well. Um, it's a great piece because honestly, it's not big. It's not a huge monster. So it is kind of an eye grabbing mid sized claw machine. But yeah, uh, I don't know. These claws are great. I just kind of, I'm not a fan of them. <laughs> Especially now that I know that they are rigged. I've always known that they were rigged, but now that you can actually really see programming and all that that they're rigged yeah uh it is what it is but again this is back for a second time for a different repair uh it's it's let me i'm just going to tell you exactly what the customer told me now if you didn't see the first video on this go back and watch it but long story short this was throwing an error basically like an error 06 error 07 i have a video on it there was a micro switch that was stuck closed, which resulted in the claw yarn. It wasn't like, I don't know how you say it. It wasn't like configured correctly through the pulleys and it caused a micro switch to be stuck. Now, what's also great, this customer, he watches my videos. He's also a customer of a multi-cade. He did buy a Pandora's box. That was the slim green solutions cabinet. That was his. So, it's, it's so crazy how all this kind of happened. Um, I fixed the claw. He then came to pick up this machine. He saw a couple other games that I had here. He said, hey Vic, I want a Pandora box build. He then gave me the money for that when he picked this up. Now what's crazy is that about a day after he messaged me and was like, hey Vic, I got some bad news. I did something really bad to the claw. Uh, you might have to take this back and help me out again. And I was like, what? What could you have possibly done? Uh, and basically he told me that the claw was smoking. He saw actual smoke coming from the claw. He said that he quickly unplugged it and I'm like, you know, now I, I, I got on the phone with him, I'm like, what happened? Um, it's kind of crazy, it sucks. What happened, the customer specifically requested that I zip tie, and it was only one zip tie or two. It was one or two zip ties that kept this claw mech from coming off the tracks. Cause that was also another issue that in transit, when you lay this thing down, the pulley could come off the tracks. It's a very simple fix. You just make sure that it's aligned, but he specifically requested 
that I zip tied this. This was supposed to go to PA to his um, Airbnb. Uh, he lives fairly close to me. Um, he unloaded it, he put it in his house, he plugged it in, he walked away, came back, and he saw smoke coming from the claw. Uh, he then discovered that he forgot to cut the zip ties. Again, be sure to go watch the first video on it. You know, he did buy this on auction. I think he spent like 600 bucks. You'll just have to go, this is, this, I fixed this. We are right now almost in May. It's the end of April, we're almost in May. I fixed this during Halloween. Because on Halloween, I had this unit outside my house so the kiddos could get their candy. So, Halloween till now, um, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, the customer took it home, plugged it in, then I was building his Pandora box. I went to go deliver his slim 32 inch Game of Solutions cabinet. When I delivered it, he said, hey Vic man, if you can, you got time, take the candy crane. I took the candy crane and I kind of just tucked it away because at the time I was doing other builds. I would kind of just look at it, you know, here and there. When I did bring it home though, I sadly discovered that it wasn't just a claw issue. We actually had physical fire on the motherboard. How do I know that? I didn't see it physically, but the motherboard actually has like burn marks. Fire, ash, flame, burn marks. I will take you closer to the motherboard, but it's just so crazy how two zip ties that the customer specifically requested caused such damage. Now the repair side of the damage wasn't awful. It was just more about, um, I hope what I physically see is all that they're, the problem is. Cause if it wasn't, this would probably be a dead unit. I would now have to look into a whole new motherboard, a whole new claw system. It would, it, it would, looking at like just quickly, it would have been like a five to $600 complete, like new motherboard and everything. So that's quite a pretty penny, especially with what I'm understanding. If I remember correctly, he paid about 600 bucks for this unit. So yeah. Now it's funny I mentioned in the short, I said there like, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think it's my fault that this broke the second time? I'm saying it as a joke. The customer is really cool, awesome dude. And again, he did buy a Pandora box build from me. He did say to me like, hey Vic man, you won't believe it. I forgot to cut the zip ties. So he's not blaming me. It's just, I like to kind of hear your take or input. Other people, some people might blame me. It might be like, ah, why did you zip tie it? And I'm like, well, the customer wanted me to zip tie it. So what do you want to do? So I just like to, that's how I'm engaging with you guys. Let me know down below. What do you think? Who do you think is at fault? Um, it just sucks. Like, you know, the customer was like, so like, he was excited to see it working like here. And then he took it home. I'm just very thankful that he came and, and like saw it smoking before there was more damage to be done. Um, again, there is mechanisms, there is stuff here. You're talking about a 24 volt coil on this, just like solenoids and pinball machines. Um, you know, if you keep this magnetized, it could do some serious damage. Again, for something to be smoking and for the motherboard to have actual burnt, like crisp black, this could have been a, a fire hazard. Uh, it sounds weird, but yeah, these that's just, that's just how it is. Same thing with arcade cabinets. Like I said before, pinball machines. Look at the uh, three-in-one Pandora box that we have. That solenoid on player two gun constantly magnetized. You get that electrical burn smell. It could do way more damage. So I'm just thankful and the customer's thankful. He caught it just in the nick of time because I don't, I can't even imagine what could have possibly happened. Now, so I'm going to be saying, Vic, I don't understand how could a zip tie do so much damage? If you don't know claw machines, when you power it on, it goes through a test cycle. If, let's say, for example, the claw is all the way in the rear, it's going to find its way home. Essentially, if I show you real quick, if I drop this claw, you can see that right there. The claw is magnetized right now until it hits a micro switch in the corner. Once it hits that micro switch, it knows to release the toy that you want. What happened was the zip tie blocked that micro switch slash the zip tie wouldn't let the claw get home. 
resulting in that claw being magnetized for minutes to an hour. I keep saying that, I said that in the five minute credit, the customer doesn't really remember. He's like, Vic, I had it on for a couple of minutes, maybe for an hour, so that's why I keep saying that. But again, you can even see right here, this claw, if it doesn't hit home, it will not release. Again, that claw has these solenoids in it, and this is the original solenoid burnt to a crisp. You can see it right there. That is the, you can even see it swollen. That's the solenoid that was inside the claw, the original. And yeah, burnt. You can actually see it, you know, melted away and such. Now, I thought originally it was gonna be, oh, gotta make sure the camera focus. Now, I thought originally it was gonna be a quick and easy swap with the claw. Upon now going into the actual coin door here and just looking at the motherboard to lower the music because the audio on this is just so repetitive, I discovered there is like black char on the motherboard. So now I was in a panic and I was like, oh man, this might be way more you know, damage than just this solenoid slash a new claw. Now I'll put you guys in my hands real quick just so you can see this panel slides out. And to show you what exactly I discovered, can you see it when my camera focuses? There you go. So right here, you could see ash right here. So again, in my in my you know opinion, definitely a flame occurred or an explosion. And you could see there that is the new capacitor that I had to put in. The one on the left of it, if my camera focuses, the one on the left of it is burnt but it's not actually damaged. Same thing with this silver capacitor on the top, but essentially I needed to replace that. Luckily it was just that it didn't cause any more damage. Now I took this from the customer's house, bought it home, removed the claw, basically the power I should say going to the claw and I powered on the unit. I all of a sudden noticed that my left and right now was no longer working. It would just go up and down but it would at least drop the claw, but again, no magnetization because that solenoid was burnt to a crisp. Also, I did disconnect it. Now my mind's going crazy. I'm like, oh crap, we don't have left and right now. Now I gotta think about changing, you know, micro switches or even possibly a whole new claw mech. It's crazy, but luckily I went on, I went on Google, I went on eBay, I guess you could say, and I found that, that yellow capacitor, that small square capacitor, I found the exact number that did come from China. Uh, so that took about a week to two weeks. It was a pack of five. Um, and I'm just very happy and grateful that that little capacitor also fixed the issue with going left and right. What's actually crazy again, I had to, I had to remove the old one. It was actually burnt. That square has like two legs, two silver legs. It must have exploded. And you know, that one square now had just two silver legs sticking out of the motherboard. Uh, Desoldered it, removed it, I put a new capacitor in and because the original was exploded, I couldn't see what orientation the square was. Basically, I couldn't tell what front and back is. Um, you would never think that that matters, but it didn't matter. The original one I soldered in, I, so I basically took the board, soldered in a new capacitor, I plugged it in, and I still had the same issue, I had no left and right. I just said to myself, you know what, let me just desolder it again and then swap it, like spin it, give it a 180, and uh, suddenly it worked. My left and right now is back. So it's just kind of crazy that like that capacitor, it caused so much, and it's also great that I just kind of thought about like, hey, let me see what happens if I just spin this. <laughs> but all in all, at least it does work, so now, how to order two things off of eBay, because again, they come from China. That's the big downside to this unit, and I would say several others. It's a Chinese-based system, so you're not going to find replacement parts. You're not going to find tech support. That is another thing. Um, you know, you can't really call up a 1-800 number. There's no tech support for this. Logged on eBay, I found an exact claw replacement. How do I know? These yellow claw tips are very rare. Um, so I found that the claw alone off of eBay was about 45 bucks and the bag of capacitors was a five pack was like 10 bucks. 
So customer is very grateful that it only costs, I don't know, whatever you want to say, 60, 70 bucks. Um, but I am selling this for him. His original idea was to have this in his Airbnb and he was going to put like toiletries in it. He just said, Vic, I don't even want to do it anymore. <laughs> if you could sell it for me, we'll split 50, 50 on it. And I do have somebody possibly, I got to say this possibly, um, I don't want to jinx myself, but possibly somebody is coming tomorrow to pick this thing up. So it's pretty cool. We're very happy that it is alive and well because it could have been worse again looking up claw machine like motherboards or total assemblies it's a five to six hundred dollar thing that's not including the cabinet that is just the motherboard and the claw it's wild um all in all though it does work you can see i basically put a couple of foam things on it i have it set to free play magnet and all I'm just hoping that I don't see this candy crane ever again. The claws are cool. It's actually very funny. Uh, I was out with the kiddo two days ago. Somebody from Bulgaria messaged me on Facebook and was asking me to help him fix his crane machine. And I'm like, wow, it's really, uh, I don't know how he found me, but he must have saw a video on the candy crane. It's so crazy how YouTube just, it's just worldwide. It's so crazy. Um, he had a full size, but he kept getting like an error 03 message. And we had a translation barrier. But I'm basically saying to dude, I'm like, you gotta find a manual. <laughs> and I could only help so much. I'm not an expert at claw machines. It's just, you gotta, you gotta just try it. Right now it's broken. I, I, I always say that. Same thing when it comes to mega touches, it's broken. What is the worst that you could do? Break it even more? It's broken. So don't get, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Start unscrewing stuff. Uh, his error, and again, it's funny. He actually sent me a picture of his manual, and his manual is in like it's broken English, Chinese, and it's like oh. So he's asking me. He's like, I can't read this. Can you translate it for me? He basically needed me to type it. I wasn't gonna do that. That night is like you know it's time. I, I said to him after about. After about, I'd say like an hour of helping, um, you know, time is money and I can't help you. <laughs> I, I'm not going to FaceTime you unless you're going to pay me for my time. I just said to him, I can't, I can't help you like this. If you want to pay for my time, I'll try to help you, but I'm not a crane expert. You might be saying, Vic, you're a dick for doing that, but um, yeah, it, that's just how it is. A Facebook, I, I'm down to answer messages, but you know, people... They will just ask, 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 ask. If I don't reply quick enough, they go like, hey, where did you, I'm not doing that. You're not paying me for that shit. <laughs> well guys, there you have it. The Candy Crane House revived again by Vic VP Game Case Arcades. I hope I don't see it ever again. <laughs> not, not in a bad way. Um, it takes up space in the garage, but hopefully tomorrow, this person comes to pick it up and it will go to a new business home or an arcade. It's a good mid-size. My kiddo loves it. <laughs> Big VP, Game Case Arcades.